Have you ever wondered if your life pleased God? And if you didn't, what exactly does He want you to do to make things right? And where exactly do we stand to know what difficulties would face us and how to overcome them? History repeats itself and those who don't know their history are doomed to repeat it. But he said unto them, Have ye not read what David did when he was unhungered? Matthew 12, 3 Or have ye not read in the law how that on the Sabbath days the priest in the temple profane the Sabbath and are blameless? Matthew 12, 5 Reading the Bible which claims to be the Word of God will show you where man has fallen or how they succeeded. Therefore, I encourage you to join me in this study as we go through the Bible Wheel introduction and what the Word of God says to us in our struggles. How did I find the Bible wheel? As I was searching Google for menorah patterns in the Bible, I stumbled on Richard Emil Magoo's website BibleWheel.com back in around 2004. I kept in touch with the author and even bought his interesting book. However, within time, Richard Emil Magoo has come to his conclusion that his, this research is what he calls cherry picking. Even though I respect the author and thank him for opening my eyes on the subject, I disagree on his change of heart and opinion. And within the God willing upcoming videos, I will prove that this research isn't a waste of time, but rather is quite fruitful and more than cherry picking. Allow me to read from the back cover of the book. The revelation of the divine unity of the whole Bible spontaneously bursts forth fully formed when we simply roll up the list of its 66 books like a scroll on a spindle wheel of 22 spokes, corresponding to the 22 letters of the Hebrew alphabet. The Bible wheel is derived entirely from scripture and scripture alone. Nothing has been added and nothing has been taken away. God himself established the everlasting foundation of the for the structure of his word within the text itself when he designed the alphabetical verses, most notably Psalm 119, the great psalm praising the power and glory of his word. The alphabetic verses prophetically anticipate the entire thematic flow from Genesis to Revelation. The Bible is self-reflective. It contains an image of itself within itself. This is the work of God. He himself engraved the seven eyes upon the one stone of his word. We now have a fully unified view of, for, of the whole Bible as a symmetrical, mathematically structured two-dimensional object. The increase from the traditional one-dimensional list of books to the two-dimensional Bible wheel immediately reveals a host of unanticipated correlations that exhibit a perfection of intelligence unlike anything ever seen in the history of the world. The Bible wheel book is the product of one, more than 10 years of research it is divided into three parts fully listed in the table of contents part one the divine design of the bible wheel part, part two the synopsis of the 22 spokes 
and part three, the divine seal and capstone of the Holy Bible. The author has divided his website into three major threads of research. Let us look into the third thread called the Biblical Holographs. This thread involves the Gematria, which is the mathematical sum of the letters of the words within a given passage. While I find this interesting, I find myself more fascinated in the first two threads. The second thread is Isaiah, also referred to as the Miniature Bible. Just as the King James Bible has 66 books, Isaiah has 66 chapters, each chapter correlating to each sequential book. It is well known and written in the introduction to Isaiah found in Thomas Nelson's New King James Version. As a brief introduction to this thread, Isaiah 1 is related to the first book, Genesis. Isaiah 40 is related to the 40th book, Matthew, and Isaiah 66 is well related to the 66th and last book, Revelation. I find it quite fascinating that the subject Isaiah presents in summary, the book referring to Isaiah's given chapter would explain things further. Allow me to go through the table of contents for the Wheel of Isaiah, otherwise called the Inner Wheel of Isaiah, since the Bible wheel itself is a wheel. Uh, the book of Isaiah produces a wheel in itself. So, after the introduction to Isaiah, uh, Isaiah Bible Link Index, I, Alphabetic Structure of Isaiah, and we begin uh, the 22 spokes, beginning with spoke 1, Aleph. Um, uh, Isaiah 1 is related to Genesis, creation, fall, remnant. Isaiah 23 is referring to Isaiah, the book of Isaiah itself. Isaiah 45 is related to the 45th book. And a hint is every knee shall bow. And another hint is justified and glorified. Passing on to uh, spoke 2, the letter Bet in the Hebrew alphabet. Isaiah 2 is referring is related to Exodus, uh, house of God and giving of the law. Isaiah 2 is related uh, to 24 key links, exaltation of the Lord and 46 key links, idols bow down and it is related to the 24th book, Jeremiah, Fear, the Pit, and the Snare. And uh, in chapter 46 of Isaiah, it's relating to the idol stoop. And Isaiah 46 is related to the 46th book, uh, which is also the second epistle of the 22 epistles, 1 Corinthians. And moving on to spoke three is Gimel, Isaiah three relating to the fall of Jerusalem, Isaiah three uh, verse by verse, and so on. It relates to Isaiah 25 relates to the book of Lamentations, which is the 25th book and mentions the destruction of Jerusalem. And as you go, as you go on, you're going you're gonna to see more and more links. Moving on from the Isaiah Bible correlations to the first thread is the Bible wheel itself. The King James Bible having 66 books is well subdivided into three sets or cycles of 22 books. Cycle 1, Genesis to Song of Solomon. Cycle 2, Isaiah to the Book of Acts. And Cycle 3, Romans to Revelation. It can be well 
symmetrically subdivided into the five books of the law, the twelve books of the Old Testament, the five books of wisdom, the five major prophets, the twelve minor prophets, the five New Testament historical books including the four Gospels and the book of Acts, and the third cycle consisting of 22 epistles. The word for wheel in Hebrew is Gilgal. The numerical value of the word is 3 plus 30 plus 3 plus 30, which equals to 66. Therefore, the Bible can very well be associated to the wheel with its 66 books. Other videos on YouTube which I've seen concerning the Isaiah Bible correlation uh, are the channel 33rd book which discusses uh, almost chapter to chapter relating to uh, each book. Another one is Stephen Anderson's message, the, ma the Major Prophets Baptist Preaching, which is the one hour long uh, sermon. However, there is a there is a 10 minute message within the hour long sermon which talks about Isaiah's miniature bible relating to the 66 books of the bible there are a few other preachers like David Pawson. In his message, Unlocking the Bible, Isaiah, part one and part two, of course. And later on, Romans to Philemon, channel and the title of the book of the sermon is miniature bible isaiah 66 king james bible 66 books 66 chapters another video by thomas allendorf isaiah's mini bible and the last one which I have found, I put them all together in a playlist. It's a short uh, one and a half minute long video, more like a commercial. Isaiah's miniature Bible phenomenon is re revealed in the Tuning Fork book, which he made a small book. Bill McGregor is the channel, uh, is the author of the channel. And he apparently made a, a small booklet out of it. We have come to the end of our program. God willing, in the next episode, we will continue exploring the Bible wheel, going into the details of the books and chapters of the Bible. Stay tuned and discover what the goal and subject of each book is. <laughs>